Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is The Walking Dead Deluxe, number 43. Uh, it's written by Robert Kirkman, art by Charlie Adler, Dave, colored by Dave McCaig, lettering by Russ Wooten. Uh, so those who don't know, The Walking Dead Deluxe is a reprinting of The Walking Dead issue by issue, except now it's colorized. Yes, all these years later, we're getting The Walking Dead in color. Um, it's been fun to kind of go back and reread all these now. I mean, it's been... A very long time since I read these originally. Many of these I've read uh, in single issues when they first came out, and I think this is around when I started collecting them monthly. Um, and it's like it's a solid, solid uh, read to go back to. It's really kind of fun to not just re-experience it and see you know what you remember, what you don't remember, all the shocking moments, but also kind of think of like the context and how things have changed over time. Um, this is one of those issues that really, really hits you. I mean, going back and reading a comic book series about zombies when the age of COVID is very, very different than when it was originally released when we had to worry about terrorism and economic issues. Uh, now we got economic issues and, well... Diseases. Lots of diseases, apparently. Uh, so this one, actually, I think gets really more interesting because we get to see the story from the governor's perspective, how he survived, how he found the prison, um, you know, the time gap between when he was attacked and when uh, when he, the governor was attacked by Michonne and when the governor and his folks attacked the prison. Um, and I think what really stands out to me is not just that Kirkman, I think, really checks the boxes and does a really good job of filling the gaps and making it seem realistic, as unrealistic as it is. Uh, but I think what Kirkman actually gets really interesting is the governor himself. And I think this is where this issue gets kind of fascinating, is that we get to see the governor spin um, spin the reality to his people. You know, when I remember when I, when I first read this, I was, it was just really simple. This guy's just full of bullshit and, you know, whatever. But now we live in an age of disinformation when our leaders are outright lying to us, when we are getting elected officials using lies that have actually winding up in, you know, winding up causing people to attack. Um, I mean, there's some really interesting kind of reverberations in that and some echoes uh, in January 6th and a lot of other stuff that's going on with this. I mean, in the end, we can see the governor using reality and twisting it and uh, outright just creating fabrications uh, to fit his narrative and get the people behind him to attack, which I think is really, really interesting. Um, you know, it, it's funny if going into this and reading The Walking Dead and just thinking about the the echoes and, and the, you know, parallels between COVID and a zombie virus or whatever it is. Um, no, I mean, there's a lot more to it. I think this is very much, uh, there's some really interesting stuff with uh, some uh, Trumpian aspects to it. Uh, and I think that to me is like not something I expected or remembered reading it. So I mean, to me, it, it's really, really cool. Um, the art is, is really interesting, and, and the art gets interesting because you know the thing is, it's colorized now. It was originally black and white, and you know, my concern reading this was what's going to happen going in and reading this colorized. Like, how is this going to change the reading of the comic? Um, you know, is the blood really going to be so over the top that it's kind of hard to? Uh, hard to read, and is it going to be distracting? And you can see here in the pages I'm showing off, while they're you know somewhat graphic, it's not as distracting as you expected. I mean, so far there's been I think maybe one issue where I thought the the colorization really did uh, impact the story. Here it's it you know it emphasizes the the damage and the um, the injuries, but I don't think it actually distracts to a point, which I think is really kind of interesting. Um, also, in these comics, we get uh, Robert Kirkman's notes. And we learn a little bit more about his thoughts about uh, The Walking Dead, about the issue, and what he kind of originally was thinking for the issues themselves as they come out. This one, we get the the interesting revelation that uh, they, at one point towards the end of the series, was a year ahead of the creation of the comic, which I think is really, really fascinating. Um, it kind of puts the whole ending of the series into a little bit more, uh, a much more interesting narrative about what they did to go, to go do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, that to me is a really fascinating revelation about the creation of the series as a whole. Um, just generally, like, if you've never read the comics, this is a great way to go back and, and experience them. Issue by issue, they're out every other week. Um, you know, it's it's not too overburning where you, uh, you have to go to the comic shop every single week. You know, it's every other week generally. Uh, and it's a fun way to just go back and, and re-experience that issue by issue uh, reading of it all. So if you've never read it, great way to do it. If you have read it and want to go back and experience the it again, 
a great way to go do about it, to go do it. Um, I'm having a blast, and I'm, I'm kind of pumped about this. So out in comic shops now, you can go get it. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code or tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. Your support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, just watching our videos support us, so thank you for that. If you are uh, interesting and in, in, interested in comic news, previews, interviews, all that stuff, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.